their third straight win following a seven-game losing streak. Hey, why not? Jets, they start the season two or an eight or worse in back-to-back -back seasons. It's 24-17. Miami now 9-2 and two last 11 timeouts against Jets. Miami was given three and a half. They covered the under hit. Total was 44 and a half. And uh, it's just not very good right now if you're a Jet fan. Meanwhile, if you're a Miami fan, three straight wins. And afterwards, here's our quarterback with A.J. Ross. Dolphins quarterback to Otunga Vailoa. You completed over 80% of your passes today, spread it around to nine different receivers. How well would you say this offense is effectively going right now? I think we started out strong. There were little mishaps throughout, uh, you know, the first half uh, that we wish we could have back. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm very proud of the offense, very proud of this team, uh, you know, for sticking together. Um, I mean, it was tied at one point, and, you know, we kept fighting through it, uh, kept fighting through adversity, hostile environment. But, you know, we do have some Dolphins fans here, so it makes it a lot easier. We had a, quite a bit of Dolphins fans, and you mentioned pregame when we spoke that it had to be all three phases really effectively performing today. Your defense had yet another takeaway. What kind of statement are they making now three games in a row? I mean, I think they're starting to find their rhythm, just like uh, how we are offensively trying to find our rhythm uh, still. Uh, you know, this is just another opportunity that we have to take to go back into the film room and uh, watch what, you know, we made mistakes in and learn from that. Now 4-7 and seven facing the Panthers next at home, but irregardless of records, talk about this team's confidence and how you continue this momentum going forward. I think this team's always had confidence in each other, in one another, in our coaches. Um, it's just finding our rhythm and finding, uh, you know, ways that we can string plays, you know, together to orchestrate, you know, all three phases of the game like we've been talking about. Offense, defense, and special teams. Well, great one, Tua. Congrats. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, so here's your happy fantasy recap. I mean, there's a lot of fair to middling options. Tua, he helped you out. He was Jamie Eisenberg's start of the week, 273, couple of touchdowns out of work. Joe Flacco butted his head up on 300 yards, couple of touchdowns, and you know, unfortunately didn't you know, get a win for you if you're a Jet fan. Jalen Waddle had eight for 65 and a rushing touchdown. And Elijah Moore is now a guy you got to get on your team. I mean, this is a guy that shouldn't be available anywhere. And you knew Miles Gaskin might have a good day against the Jets, well, because everybody has a good day against the Jets defense. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.